came to the desert to make my website. But you can make yours anywhere. We chose Squarespace because we think it's an awesome tool to visualize and present yourself or your business. Let's get started right away. Hi, welcome. I'm Tingyi, and today my group is going to bring you through the visual marketing tool, Squarespace, which is also what the majority voted us to do on. To allow you to follow this video better, here's an agenda on what we'll be covering on today. Introduction, Tutorial 1 Basics, Tutorial 2 Building a Website, Tutorial 3 Getting a Domain, The Pros and Cons, The Competitors, as well as a Conclusion. And by the end of this video, I hope you get to take away these know-hows. How to get started with Squarespace, how to personalize your website, and how to take it a notch higher by getting a domain. Without further ado, let's begin! The Squarespace website Squarespace is your one-stop portal for developers or laymen to create and design your own professional-looking website quick and easy, start your own online stores, or even create mobile apps interface. and company logos. Most importantly, Squarespace helps you to save time. It removes the hassle of coding. Since a base is already created for you, the main focus would be letting your imagination and creative juices do the job by designing your very own website. But of course, for people who are good in coding, the HTML can be edited through the custom CSS editor. Besides that, Squarespace also helps solve the future scalability of the website. Instead of worrying about new structures, Squarespace already has this feature, providing ease of access for the user, where you are able to add new pages to your website, which Mark will be talking about in the later part of the video. How Squarespace can benefit you is that you can tell your own story, to build your own brand. Why not create a more professional image through a website? It's a chance to tell people who you are. For instance, this is an interactive resume where you are able to show your experiences, your abilities, some projects you have done, as well as your contact detail. If not, you can simply create this very minimalistic uh, website with your contact details so that any customers can contact you. Well, if you're a designer, you can use Squarespace to display your portfolio as well. With that being said, let's begin the first tutorial, the basics of building your website. First, you have to create an account. If you are still exploring, you can create a free account and start a free trial which lasts for 14 days. Well, if you have decided to commit, you can choose different plans based on what you are using this platform for. So, after creating an account, the first step is choosing your template. You'll see a list of templates for you to choose from. Some of the questions you should ask yourself before beginning is why you are using Squarespace for. Is it for personal use, such as a travel and lifestyle theme? Or is it for your company? Or is it for an online store? For the purpose of this video, we have already created a website using the theme Forte. No worries if you do not wish to keep to this theme as you are able to switch between different templates simply by going to design, choosing your template and installing a new template as the ones you were given in the beginning. Upon choosing a template, you will be prompted to design your site title either by simply writing a title. If not, you can always add a logo. And if you do not have, like me, I just created a site title for myself. And no worries because you can always go back and edit it. Next, you can go to basic settings to put a description on your website 
so it makes it easier for people to trace you when they search your name on Google. You can also decide to change your site type if you ever want to. When you begin designing your website, you will see this sidebar on the left, Pages, Design, Commerce, Analytics, Settings and Help. Start by going to Pages and you will have an inbuilt Pages that comes with a template. You can either use it by choosing Create or simply remove it with this icon here. In the second mini tutorial, we are learning how to build a specific web page on your website with Squarespace. Squarespace offers different predefined web page layouts to minimize your time needed to customize it. Regardless of your layout, every Squarespace web page is composed of so called blocks. Blocks are the foundation of your site. You can add, move, and combine blocks on a page to create a custom layout. Each block is designed to add different types of content to most areas of your site, such as the header or footer, the regular page, side parts, etc. Squarespace offers basic blocks such as text, quotes, videos, spacers, buttons or audio files. These are the blocks you are going to use most. Squarespace also offers more specialized blocks such as image blocks, gallery blocks, chart blocks, social media blocks and many others. In this tutorial, we are going to take a closer look at the basic blocks, the image blocks and the chart blocks as they are most useful in visualizing information on your web page. When you are in the Pages menu of the Basic Editor, you see on the left a structure of your website with folders which depict the main navigation titles that you also see at the top of your website and web pages that are nested within these folders. We are now going to create a basic web page within the main navigation. For that, you have to press the plus button here at the top and choose page. Here you can see that it also allows you to create folders within you can place several websites and many other rather specialized web page designs. We are now going to choose page, the most basic design. Again, you can see that Squarespace allows you to choose several layout adaptions of the basic page. We are going to choose the blank version just for the sake of this tutorial. This brings you to the start of every web page, a basic editor and a placeholder for text. We've seen before that Squarespace basic web page elements are blocks. Let's start with a page banner. As not all website templates support banners, banners are not depicted as blocks, but need to be configured in the settings of the web page itself. For that, let's click on that little gear next to your web page. Here you can see that you have several setting options for each web page you create. In the basic tab, you can change the name, enable or disable the page, add a description, set a custom URL, password protect the page or set it as a home page. In the media tab, you have the possibility of adding a banner. Now let's add a personal image. Now we can see that the image is uploaded. If you press save, it is automatically inserted into the page. Now, let's start adding our blocks. For that, go back to the web page and click Edit. Again, the same editor as before is shown. To add a title, just start typing. Afterwards, you can change the format to Title. To add a block, press the plus button. Now we can add a second text block in which we can write the introduction. We recommend you to use different text blocks for different formats. It makes it easier to format. You can see that while typing your text, Squarespace lets you format it in different ways and you can add links or even numbered lists. Let's add a memorable quote that we've come across. To add pictures, you can either choose image from the basic blocks or you can add multiple pictures with the gallery blocks. Again, a menu pops up and asks you to add the media. Now, if you'd like to add a chart to visualize your information even better, for example, to visualize the tourist visitor numbers for Mexico, you have to choose a specialized chart block. You can choose between bar charts, line charts and pie charts. Let's select a line chart. You now have the option to paste data from a CSV file in the Import Export tab or to enter data manually in the Data tab. 
I'd recommend you to import it from a CSV file should it somehow be possible to obtain one as it saves you a lot of time. As soon as you've inserted the data, you can also change the title, caption and the color palette of your chart. Let's start with the third mini tutorial, looking at some advanced functions such as creating your own domain. As a default, Squarespace will provide you with a domain that uses the word Squarespace in it. For more professional projects, however, setting up a custom domain is necessary. With Squarespace, this is easy. If you're on an annually built plan, Squarespace provides you with a custom domain for free for the first year. Otherwise, you will need to purchase your own custom domain. You have two possibilities to do that. First, you can purchase it through Squarespace, which is quick and easy, but maybe a bit more expensive. Furthermore, if you should ever decide to move away from Squarespace, taking your domain with you may be more complicated. Moreover, Squarespace does not offer all the top level domains, such as .ch. Second, you can purchase it through a third party domain provider. If you're residing in Switzerland, we recommend Sign.ch, a very well-established, sustainable Swiss web hoster and domain provider with service in Switzerland with great service. Let's have a look at how you can purchase your own domain through Squarespace. To add a domain through Squarespace, click on the settings panel on the left, then on domain and get a domain. Then you'll be able to search for any domain you like. .com top level domains are more expensive so are shorter words with real meanings. The prices are indicated in annual payments. This is normal. If you get a domain from an outside provider, you have to pay around the same price annually for keeping that domain. After you've selected one, you can protect the payment and voila, you've got your own website with your own domain. Now that you have gone through the tutorials, let's discuss some of the advantages and disadvantages of Squarespace. In terms of the advantages, Squarespace is ready to use with just a quick sign up and is easy to learn. Hence, you do not necessarily need to be an expert to design a professional and beautiful website. Here, you could choose from many great templates or even upload your own to start your design. Their primary appeal, however, lies in the fact that there is a rather large selection of templates available for use and they will make your site look professional in no time at all. These templates are also one of the best designed on the market. In addition, Squarespace is versatile and customizable to your needs. There are countless options to choose from, be it the colors, photographs or fonts used. Therefore, it allows you to create your own personalized website just like the way you want it. Lastly, Squarespace offers 24-7 customer support via emails or live chats. Apart from that, you could also sign up for one of their webinar sessions that will walk you through the basics of setting up your site. Should you need to clarify any doubts, questions and answers will be made available throughout the webinar. And if those platforms are not comprehensive enough, there are also multiple in-depth tutorial videos and guidebooks you could refer to. All in all, Squarespace is a worry-free, all-in-one solution for building your own professional website. But of course, Squarespace is definitely not perfect and has several disadvantages as well. While Squarespace prides itself in offering a wide range of templates and flexibility, the templates are often very prescriptive in terms of what you can and can't change. Apart from that, for a website builder that is advertised as simple, straightforward, and easy, Squarespace backend functionality is not a breeze to use. I am talking about things like editing and adding content, opening new pages, adding block functionality, editing the design template, and moving elements around, etc. Squarespace has good instructions and it all fits together. But when you are actually building the site, you will find a learning curve with Squarespace, and especially so if you have zero experience. It's not as steep as other solutions, but it's a curve nonetheless. Moreover, there is an overall lack of advanced marketing tools. People don't just show up to your website because you have published it. They need to actually know about it. 
Squarespace gives you all the basics for marketing, including the all-important share buttons, but the advanced tools are lacking at best. You do have URL redirect options, but the search engine optimization is pretty lacking and limited to basic meta structure. There is virtually no A-B testing at all. Lastly, there is no support for third-party apps, plugins, or extensions. This makes it difficult for beginners to customize their sites. So how does Squarespace compare with other popular website builders such as Wix and WordPress? Well, here is an overview of the comparisons between them on a list of criteria such as the ease of use, pricing, and customer support available. You could pause the video here to analyze the differences. On a whole, Squarespace is indeed more costly than the alternatives, but provides for a clean, modern polished look with professional functionalities. But ultimately, choosing a website builder depends on what you need for yourself, the business, and brand. Now that you have learned all about Squarespace, we hope that you will have an amazing time creating your own professional websites and look forward to seeing them. Thank you for your time and have a great day ahead. It may be hard. It may be easy. But either way, you are capable.